In this video, I'm going to show you how to install all of the required items for BlueCube and then how to install your BlueCube sketch onto your Freetronics Cube. So to start with, I'm just going to bring up the BlueCube website and just go to the install page. If you're in doubt, the install page has all of these instructions on it. The first item that we actually need is the Arduino IDE. Now, I'm going to assume you don't already have it. If you do, you can skip this step. So I'm going to follow the link to download the IDE, and that'll take us to the Arduino website. It's brought up the latest version, which is fine, and I'm going to download the Mac version. We'll select the Just Download button, and we'll start it downloading. We'll just go back to the install page. While we're here too, we can just scroll down and grab the board profile from here. Now, it's actually optional, but I like to install it. While that's also going on, we'll go to the downloads page. We'll download the BlueCube sketch and all of the associated BlueCube code. We also need to download three libraries. Now, if you've already got the free code, Tronics Cube library, for BlueCube to work properly, you actually need to replace it with my version of the library. So let's download a copy of that. There's also a helper utilities library that we've created that's useful and required, so let's click to download that. And finally, we need to download the Adafruit Bluefruit Bluetooth library. So if we click on the download button for it, uh, this will actually take you to its GitHub page for the latest release, and you can just click source code zip to start downloading it. The other thing that you should do is you need to have one of the Blue Cube apps on either your iPhone or iPad or on your Android mobile uh, device, so either a phone or tablet. You can get both of these from either of the app stores. Uh, there's links on this page, or you can just search for BlueCube in the app store on your device. So I'll just check these downloads. And we've just finished downloading all of the components. As you can see, it's just finished uncompressing the Arduino IDE. So with that, you can see we've got the Arduino IDE. We've got the Leo Stick board profile. We've got the blue cube code, the cube 4 library, the cube 4 AR utilities library, and the blue fruit library. So that's all the components that we need. Now, as I've mentioned previously, the install page contains all of the steps you need to install these, but I'll actually demonstrate you uh, those for you now. So to start the install process, we'll go to the downloads folder and we'll move the Arduino IDE into the Applications folder. Once it's there, we'll switch to the Applications folder and we'll launch the IDE. Now, it's important to know where the default sketchbook location is. So if we go to the Arduino menu in Preferences, we need to look at this sketchbook location. In my example, it's in the Users folder, Adam, which is my short username, Documents, Arduino. So once we know that, we can click OK, and now we can quit the Arduino application. We'll actually now switch to the Documents folder. There's the Arduino folder. And in it, there's a Libraries folder. Now, we're going to start by installing the uh, Leo Stick board profile. So to do that, we actually need to create a hardware folder, which I'll just do. And then if I bring the Downloads folder up again, what we'll just do here is we'll rename that, get rid of master at the end, and we'll move that into the hardware folder. So we now have hardware, Leo Stick board profile, and there's the files for it. We'll now switch to the libraries folder, and the same thing needs to happen with the three libraries we need to install. So we'll start with the cube 4 library. Again, I'm just going to rename it, remove the version from the end, move it into the libraries folder. We'll repeat for cube 4 AR utils and for the Adafruit Bluefruit library. So they're now all in the libraries folder and we've now just left with the BlueCube app. So again, I'm going to remove the version number from that 
and I think I'm actually going to copy it just straight into our documents folder. You could put it in the Arduino folder if you want, this is entirely your choice. So once you've got that, we're now going to go and load the BlueCube sketch. So we'll go into the BlueCube folder, into the Arduino folder, BlueCube, and then we'll double click on BlueCube.ino to open it. This opens the IDE again, and we can now just verify that all of the components we've installed work. So a quick way is if we go Tools Board, you should see the Freetronics Leo stick. And if you click the Verify button, it should compile the sketch fully without any errors. Warnings are okay, but there should be no errors. If you get an error, you can go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and have a look at what's been installed. So a great way to do that is type Installed, and just search for the libraries. So Cube, there's the two Cube libraries we had, and Bluetooth, there's the Bluetooth library. If one of those is missing, that may be what's causing your, your problem. So with that, we can go to the Tools menu, go to the port and pick our cube, which is connected to the computer via USB. And you can upload the sketch to the cube. And then all you need to do is launch the BlueCube application on your mobile device, connect to the cube, and you're off and running. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to install the BlueCube sketch and required components onto your Mac.